Hello friends, this is Durga from IT University. As part of uh, getting started with DynamoDB for Java developers, in this video I will show how to set up Eclipse with AWS plugin uh, and then download uh, certain components uh, uh, as part of the plugin and we will be creating a sample Dynamo project uh, and then we will see how we can actually run a sample Java program for DynamoDB first with AWS and uh, uh, I will not demonstrate with virtual machine right now but when we actually develop uh, uh, an uh, custom application for our data set I will demonstrate on virtual machine rather than on AWS but uh, uh, as part of setting up Eclipse I primarily demonstrate using uh, AWS so that being said uh, I will highly recommend STS which is uh, Let me close this and restart it. STS is a, a Spring tool suite from uh, uh, Pivotal and uh, it comes with Maven plugin uh, and all those things. So I am using it for most of my demonstrations um, uh, when it comes to Java based uh, application development. So I will go ahead and use it and I will uh, whether you use Eclipse or Spring it does not matter when it comes to AWS. Uh, Spring is the uh, enhanced version of Eclipse with so many you know, uh, Spring related features. So STS is the enhanced version of uh, Eclipse with so many features related to Spring uh, um, and other important components. So that being said, to, to install plugin first you need to add the site. For that you have to go to help and click on install new software and then you have to add the site. You can name it as Amazon Web Services and here you need to know the path you can actually set up, Dynam uh, set up Eclipse for DynamoDB and you can click uh, click on this link so you can actually see the instructions here also so this is the location where we have the Eclipse for plugin for um, uh, AWS toolkit and uh, go here provide the URL remove this existing HTTP column slash slash click on OK and it will show all the components as part of this plugin and we don't need to install everything for DynamoDB we just have to expand this core management components and we have to select toolkit for Eclipse core click on next click on next I accept finish and it will take a while to download those things uh, you just need to restart I think it downloaded pretty fast it didn't take very long so it is restarted and uh, let me create a new project file new yeah click on the project if you are using Eclipse, I think it will show as other project. So you, you can choose that one. And then you have the AWS expand this. You will see AWS Java project. Click on next. And you have a bunch of uh, uh, Java projects, um, uh, sample projects uh, for uh, AWS. And here I would like to choose Amazon DynamoDB sample. And uh, name it as getting started. Dynamo. DB and uh, then you have to configure AWS accounts to make sure which account you want to connect to okay and uh, if you click on this it will show the access key uh, a secret secret access key will be masked but I don't want to click it at this time but I will show the uh, show it once I add the uh, um, uh, once I add um, the ones which I want to try to connect. 
So it will look like this. Um, uh, when you actually click on this link, the page will open up like this. And, um, and then it will ask for access key ID and secret access key. You have to enter uh, uh, access key ID and secret access key for your, uh, for your account. Uh, because when, when it comes to AWS, this is mandatory step. Without having AWS account, you will not be able to uh, you, you will not be able to run any of these programs easily. Uh, even to connect to the local DynamoDB version, uh, you need to set up this access key ID and secret access key ID. Uh, and, uh, and then it will save the, uh, whatever you are trying to use here will be saved to this uh, location, uh, your home directory slash dot AWS slash credentials. And then you can click on yes and then click on apply and click on ok so now the configuration is done uh, you can click on next if you want uh, but in this case i don't uh, one more thing i want to do is i want to expand the advanced settings let me see how i can change the location i want to change the location to my One minute. Let me. Yeah, let me uh, click on finish, and uh, whatever. Uh, so for now, I will just use the default location. But uh, when when I actually develop uh, uh, the project for our application, I will show. Um, I, I will show how. Uh, uh, sorry. That's fine. Uh, I, I, I got a little confused that being said now the project is there the application you can expand this directory and you can expand source directory also and in that you have the default package and uh, this is the sample program which will be created so nyc load.java and product category price index uh, these are the programs which I have developed I will get go to the details later and if you see here it has uh, all the necessary code to connect to the uh, to fetch the credentials uh, set the region you can actually set the regions to whatever default region you want and uh, uh, and then if you look into the main program here it is saying uh, to create my favorite movies table uh, if the table does not exist if the table exists it will not care so let me log into the aws account and click on list tables and uh, right now it has only stock underscore eod and testing dg when we run this program it will try to create my favorite movies table so it has almost everything that is required for its, uh, that is required to start on a Java application uh, to do certain operations uh, in DynamoDB. It has the code snippet for performing DDL to create the table and uh, you can go through this code and it is uh, self-explanatory. You just need to understand the APS. I, would, I don't want to go each and every um, uh, class and uh, function calls in this video but it has all the features so first uh, it is trying to create the table if the table does not exist and then it is describing the table and then uh, it is creating a map uh, by calling this new item function which is uh, um, which has the behavior uh, de defined in this uh, method as part of this class itself and once you create the item it is trying to insert that item by invoking uh, put item request uh, class uh, uh, and then uh, on the on dynamodb object using put item and then uh, using this uh, put item request object it is actually inserting the record into the table and also it has the code to scan uh, scan the data from the table uh, I think they don't have query here, but it, it has scan with filter. 
okay so that being said it is actually inserting two records one is bill and ted's excellent adventure and the other one is airplane and uh, then it is actually passing the range um, it is passing the range to get the results uh, as part of the scan operation we will see all these things again in detail in the next video when we actually develop for our data set New York Stock Exchange. That being said, you don't need to make any changes to this code and right click on this and click on run as Java application. It will connect to your AWS account and uh, create the table and then it will actually describe your, your table structure, insert the data and then it will also query the results from the table based upon the filter condition you have passed. It will just take a moment. So it is done. And now the table is created. Uh, table description is uh, this one. Uh, so it has uh, attributes name uh, um, and it is actually uh, single column, uh, so single key. It, it is having single column in the key schema and the status is active and the uh, name of the uh, column in the key schema is uh, name itself and the table name is my favorite movies table so it's it's pretty much self-explanatory and it, it gives some other metadata of your table that being said now let us go to our um, eclipse uh, sorry aws console and uh, refresh it here It is only showing two because uh, the region is uh, US West 2. US West 2 is Oregon. Uh, so the table um, uh, means my actual uh, Java program is pointing to a different region than my default region. That's why you didn't see that in that region, but you can see it here in this region. And when you actually click on explore table and uh, you can see that there are two, two records with the name airplane and bill and Ted's excellent adventure one is with 1980 and the other one is 1989 but the result turned only 1989 because uh, it is looking for the values and the years that are greater than 1985 1980 is not greater so it is only showing up the 1989 so it's, it, this is how you can actually start, just set up the Eclipse, download, uh, uh, create the sample project and go through the code, you will understand uh, how to interface with DynamoDB. That being said, I hope you are enjoying the content so far on my channel. Uh, uh, as part of this playlist, getting started and DynamoDB for Java developers, uh, we have seen several things, setting up uh, DynamoDB on AWS uh, uh, console as well as using command line. And also we have seen how to set up locally and then we have seen a sample uh, how to set up Eclipse and uh, uh, develop a sample or use the existing sample DynamoDB application uh, to uh, to validate that we can actually connect to uh, our Eclipse IDE to the DynamoDB uh, um, on AWS and perform certain operations using Java. That being said, I hope you are enjoying the content on my channel. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you want to provide feedback or ask any technical questions, uh, please use the comment section of the video. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. You will see a lot more content over time in different areas in IT. Thank you. Bye.